Um, future of aging, uh, kind of what do you what what do you see as the most exciting technologies that are around there that are out there at the moment? Um, and how do you see aging changing perhaps in the next five years? I, you know, so uh, my answer to the first question uh, sort of should lead to a certain kind of answer to the second question, mm -hmm. which should aging should just change radically in the next five years. But uh, the problem with making that extrapolation from exciting things that are happening right now to what's going to happen in the future is a lot of exciting things just end up getting ignored or stalled or not approved or whatever. So sometimes it can be extremely frustrating. Uh, what I'm doing on the thymus could have been done 30 years ago, theoretically, but nobody really cared. So uh, I've witnessed over and over again, things taking much longer than they should. However, however, uh, you can do stuff right now that may be very, very interesting, such as elevating your NAD level uh, through nutritional means, that there's much more to be learned about that and whether just how feasible that is in humans. Uh, there's some schemes uh, to, to make that more efficient. Uh, in animals, uh, rejuvenation effects have been seen by uh, feeding animals large quantities of uh, NMN. Uh, if you translate those doses to humans, you didn't have to take 65 grams of NMN every day, and that's a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. Also, there's this uh, sort of little thing on the background that you have to worry about, which is that raising your NAD levels may actually, uh, it, may, it may inhibit the development of cancer or the formation of cancer, but once cancer exists, it may actually make it grow faster. It's hard to say. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I think you can win that game, you know, if you don't have cancer and, and you jack up your levels early and these never get cancer after that, then you're in good shape. But, uh, but you know, there's always a little bit of a catch to everything. So we, that has to be looked at, but the ability to turn back time and, and regrow blood vessels and old animals and all kinds of stuff, it's just very, very exciting. Related to that, I think, and I'm not sure anyone else has drawn this, uh, this uh, relationship before, but related to that, I think, is this uh, new possibility of rejuvenating the body with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Mm. This has actually been around for a long time. When I was in college, a friend of mine found a newspaper report that people using the Navy's uh, hyperbaric oxygen chamber were finding people's hair turning dark again, you know, after they had, you know, turned gray. And I dismissed it at the time because at the time, there is a lot of focus on the free radical theory of aging, which says that oxygen uh, turns into superoxide and the superoxide causes aging. But now we know that that's all sort of backwards, that uh, aging is caused by a lack of oxidation rather than uh, by too much oxidation, at least on some levels. Of course, mm. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, being entirely accurate the way I state that, but uh, if aging is driven largely by a reduction in NAD, which it seems to be, and NAD is an oxidizing agent, then what I just said is true. But that doesn't negate the fact that you can have superoxide radicals doing damage here and there as well. So oxidation can be a problem as well, just a totally different kind of oxidation. Uh, but I think that if you go into hyperbaric oxygen chamber, it's going gonna, it's gonna to create uh, an increase in your oxidation state. So you know, have oxidation and reduction. So that's a, you can, you can calculate like where you are on that spectrum as something called a redox potential. And if you get into a hyperbaric oxygen uh, uh, chamber, you're changing your redox potential to a more oxidizing state. And you might think that would be bad, but no, because that's probably driving the conversion of NADH into NAD. And when you make NAD, you get younger again. So it could be a really simple way of making more NAD. So we need to look at that in more detail as well. And it, it seems like from what has been reported, uh, the hyperbaric uh, oxygen also kills senescent cells. So if you don't wanna take a bunch of drugs to kill senescent cells, and maybe the drugs have some side effects or whatever, uh, that might be an, another alternative. Of course, uh, buying one of these things may be a bit of an issue for most people, but you know, Going forward, you know, there might be uh, centers that you could go to, like going to a, a health spa or a gym 
you go down to your local HBO center and, uh, and, and get zapped for a while and then, uh, you know, do that as needed to stay young. So those are exciting things. Uh, very simple, pretty safe, generally speaking. I don't think anyone has gotten cancer yet from taking niogen, for example, mm. or true niogen. You know, I think people seem to be happy with it so far. Um, but there are other things that are amazing that are happening, uh, just beginning to happen. You know, so you have Irina Convoy up in the Bay Area of California uh, taking blood uh, at, uh, out of animals and actually just taking plasma out of animals, subtracting half of it, replacing that half with the salt solution, putting it back in the body and getting signs of rejuvenation. Now, the signs are not perfect and they're, they're kind of uh, uh, incomplete at this point. Not too many tests have been run and they haven't done uh, epigenetic aging clocks yet. And I, I have a feeling Irina seems to be a little bit uh, skeptical about epigenetic aging clocks, but, uh, but nevertheless, you're seeing some really interesting effects. And I think that that could be a very simple and practical way of intervening in aging in the near future as well. And it's complementary to what you do with NAD and it's complementary to what you might be able to do with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Um, what else? Well, I mean, there is something called alpha ketoglutarate. You know, I don't know how I feel about that, but that has been claimed at least in some anecdotal reports, which seem to have been subtracted from the internet after they were made that that might be able to reverse epigenetic aging. Uh, it certainly seems to have beneficial effects in animals, according to uh, Brian Kennedy. Uh, and Brian, I think, knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's some question as to alpha, whether alpha ketoglutarate penetrates cells or not. So maybe it reju rejuvenates some things, but not everything. But still, uh, what has been seen looks really interesting. And I think that deserves to be further uh, studied as well. So there's, there's just a you know, a lot of things happening out there that are that are pretty interesting. And uh, uh, for the most part, or maybe entirely, these things are complementary and not uh, in competition with with each other. And senolytics is another example that may be in competition with hyperbaric oxygenation. But if you don't have an HBO tank nearby, you know, you can shoot yourself up with a quercetin and dasatinib and, you know, and, and uh, take your other uh, aging interventions at the same time. So uh, the concept that you have these very powerful therapies in their own right that can be combined with very, uh, various other very powerful therapies uh, and maybe produce synergistic effects is extremely exciting. And as far as I know, nobody's actually gone down that road yet, but we'll certainly be going down that road uh, probably you know, fairly soon. Uh, so we will see how that goes. And if, if nobody else starts combining things, we will. So it's gonna happen one way or the other. Interesting. Yeah, so, so not just one thing, it's like all of these different uh, treatments kind of working together would be. Yes. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.